Hi guys, play Rough Slurpuff here, and I'm doing another video on what it would be like to use this Pokemon, uh, Blastoise or Squirtle, in a playthrough. Just the many ways you can use them, what sets you can run on them, uh, depending on what you're looking for. If you're making a Dream Team or a Water Type Team, it really doesn't matter. Um, these sets I really do like, but these sets were somewhat designed for a playthrough I created called the Pokemon Master Challenge. However, these sets can be used in any kind of playthrough. Uh, if you want to check that out, the link's in the description below. Anyways, let's go ahead and hop into this. So let's just look at Blastoise's weaknesses first. You can see it's only weak to electric and grass. Uh, that's cool. It resists fire, water, ice, and steel. So anytime you have more resistances than weaknesses, that's definitely a bonus. Um, this is good to know just because if you're going to be doing the Pokemon Master Challenge, you want to know when to swap out uh, Blastoise and when to send them in. Another important thing to talk about are the abilities that Blastoise gets a hold of. You can see Turret, which is the water type... Uh, ability that all water starters get basically when you have one third hp or less you get a increase in power for your water type moves then you have the hidden ability rain dish when rain is active you get one sixteenth of your max hp every turn really cool hidden ability um especially when looking at these base stats you can see a 100 in defense and a 105 in special defense uh making blastoise a really big tank of a pokemon just being able to really take hits and having that rain dish as its hidden ability means that we can do some cool stuff with this all right, so the first set that I came up with, the Squirtle is holding a Mystic Water. If you don't know what Mystic Water does, it just increases the power of water type moves by 20%. We went with the Hidden Ability Rain Dish, which gives you 1 16th of your HP back uh, when you have rain active on the battlefield. Then we went with the Physical Water type move, Aqua Jet, which is 90 base power, 90% accurate, has a 10% chance to miss. Not that big of a deal in my opinion. Then we have Brick Break. Brick Break is a physical fighting attack move that can break through light screens and reflects, I believe. Uh, maybe just reflect I'm not sure uh, it just gives you some more coverage moves uh, for this squirtle set to have and then we have rain dance uh, rain dance is on there obviously because we have the hidden ability rain dish and what I really like about rain dance if you didn't know when you have rain active on the field your water type moves get a 50% increase in power so if you stack uh, that rain dance on top of that mystic water your water type moves are getting a 70% increase in power and then the last move I went with is aqua jet because it gets move priority it's a 40 base power water type move that is a physical attack that usually goes first so having that priority move on there is really really neat I feel like this set comes together with the mystic water and having rain dance on the field so that said I went in adamant uh, just because I really want to up that physical attack stat and lower that special attack stat since we aren't using it but on to the second set I have I have a safety goggle using squirtle that is definitely weird I know you guys are questioning me right now <laughs> safety goggle uh, goggles basically what it does is like moves like sleep powder and stun powder hell and uh, sandstorm you take no damage from and as you can see on this set we have the uh, move hell on there so we want to protect ourselves from taking damage uh, against that per turn we have the ability turret which I've already explained what it does and then we have the move skull the skull is 80 base power 100% accurate water special attack move that has a 30% chance to burn if you didn't know about burning an opponent if you burn an opponent their physical attack stat gets cut in half so add that physical attack stat cut in half plus your base 100 defense stat Oh my gosh, you're going to be able to take physical hits for days. Now the next move I went with is Aurora Spear. Aurora Spear is a fighting type move that offers so much coverage. Um, it's 80 base power and it can never miss. So things like Sand Attack or Minimize or Double Team won't affect this. And there are Pokemon that do uh, carry that Sand Attack quite a bit like Eevee, Furfru and stuff like that. So having Aurora Spear being able to hit those normal types that use Sand Attack a lot uh, is really really awesome. Now I went with Hell and the reason I went with Hell is because we have the move Blizzard on there. Blizzard is a base 110 special attack ice type move with 70% accuracy so it can miss 30% of the time. However having Hell up means that Blizzard will never miss. This set just offers so much coverage you have a water type move a fighting type move and an ice type move and then hell is really cool as well because you can break a lot of pokemon's uh ability sturdy like you can break their sturdiness like if you're going against the flying um elite four member she sends in a skarmory and if you go hell you can actually break that skarmory sturdy and then blizzard and knock it out uh this set i went with a modest nature just uh just maximizing that special attack and lowering that physical attack this time now we have four more sets to go but this next one is probably my favorite guys and I'm gonna go quite a bit in detail about it just to explain how awesome this set is in my opinion. We have the Normalium Z move. 
Now you get this very early on when you finally beat the first trial, which doesn't take long, so you can get this fairly early. Now what's super cool about having Normalium Z is you can go Normalium Z Workup, which if you don't know what Workup does, it raises your attack stat and your special attack stat by one. If you go Normalium Z Workup, it adds plus two to your physical stat attack stat and then plus one to your special attack stat. Or you can go Normalium Z Skull Bash, which is just going to turn it into Breakneck Blitz, making this hit super hard. So you can already see that Normalium Z has a couple options to go. Now the first move I went with is Scald, and I've already explained Scald. It burns the opponents, which can cut its uh, physical attack stat into half. Uh, adding to your base 100 defense stat is just amazing. Then we went with uh, Bulk Up. I'm sorry, Aurora Spear. I don't know why I said Bulk Up. I was looking at the wrong thing. We went with the Aurora Spear because I've already explained that as well. 80 base power special type move can never miss. That just being able to never miss and having so many things that it's super effective against is a really cool move to have on here. And then Work Up, like I said, to add plus one to your attack and special attack stat. And then Skull Bash, guys. Skull Bash is a 130 base power move, normal type move. Uh, it is super cool. I know it takes a turn to charge basically first turn you tuck your head and you go plus one in your defense stat And then you hit with a 130 base power type move Which is incredible because just think of the amount of options you have on this Pokemon You have a move that never misses you have a move that has a chance to burn You have a move that allows you to set up and then you have a move that allows you to go uh, Up your defenses making you more of a hard Pokemon to take out and that's why I really, really like this set. And then you have the Normalium Z, which just allows you to go Breakneck Blitz without having to charge with Skull Bash if you're just trying to do some neutral damage to a Pokemon. So on this set, I don't, I didn't really go in nature. You can go in nature if you want. Um, I just went like hardy or quirky or uh, docile or bashful, just because I don't feel any need to raise an attack stat or raise a special attack stat or defense stat or special defense stat. I just went with a neutral nature. Now this next set is actually kind of weird, but I actually really like it. I have a Squirtle holding the uh, berry, citrus berry. If you don't know what it does, when your HP goes to 50% or less, you get 25% of that health back by eating that berry. So if you were to like ever go a belly drum, which cuts your HP in half, you would actually get 25% of that HP back because of citrus berry. Now I went with Scald, we already know what Scald does, and then I went with Rest. If you don't know what Rest does, it puts you to sleep and it heals all your HP and any status condition move that you may have on yourself. So like if you had, uh, if you were paralyzed and you went Rest, you would heal all your HP and it would get rid of that Rest. And what's cool about Rest is you're only asleep for two turns, and that's why I went with the move Snore. Snore is really cool, it's 50 base power, it's a normal type move, and it's 100% accurate, you can only use it while you're sleeping, but it also has a 30% chance to uh, flinch the target. Uh, that is really cool. Then I went with Water Spout. Water Spout you don't see fairly often, but it's really, really cool. It's actually one of my favorite water type moves. It's base 150 power special type water move, guys. It's 100% accurate, and it only has 5 PP. You won't be using it that often. The reason I went rest on this set with the Citrus Berry is because Water Spout only does 150 base power if, it's, if your HP is uh, at full. When your HP goes down, the less power Water Spout will do. So if you're ever in a situation where you're just at full HP and you're going against a Fire type such as Salazzle or something like that, or Alola Marowak in this case because that's the new trial Pokemon, uh, you can just go Water Spout and just KO that thing if you're at full health. So I really, really do like this set. The nature I went on it is Calm to up that special defense stat because we're trying to keep as much H uh, HP as possible so that way Water Spout does as much damage as possible. Alright guys, this next set I really do like. We have the Expert Belt item on there. If you don't know what Expert Belt item on uh, item does, it basically means any super effective move gets a 20% increase in power. So if you had Water Gun and you are going against a Fire type Pokemon, that Water Gun would be super effective against that Fire type Pokemon. So you would get a 20% increase in power. So I went with Aqua Tail. Uh, it's a 90 base power water type physical type move, 90% accurate, so be aware of that. Then I went with Zen Headbutt. It's a psychic type move, 80 base power, physical attack, 100% uh, accurate. It also has a 10% chance to flinch, but typically when you're slower, you don't really have that chance to flinch. And we are definitely going to want to be slower in this move set because I went a brave nature. It's going to go plus attack, minus speed. And the reason I did that is because we have the move Gyro Ball on there. Now, Gyro Ball means the slower you are, the more damage you do, which is a still type move, and it's 100% accurate. It doesn't have that many PP, 
So gotta be aware of that. But Expert Belt, having a Water type, a Psychic type, and a Steel type move, Expert Belt is gonna be used quite a bit when you're going against a Pokemon that you know you're super effective against. Now we move on to Curse. Curse is one of my favorite moves to use when we're dealing with slower Pokemon because it's such a setup move, especially when you have the move Gyro Ball to add to it. Curse is going to uh, add plus one to your attack stat, to your defense stat, and then minus one to your speed. So if you go to a couple of curses, you're going to double your attack stat, double your defense stat, and lower your speed stat, making your Gyro Ball do even more damage. So I definitely like this move set. Now I definitely have one more move set as well, and I keep saying definitely. I don't know how many times I've said that now. Sorry guys, I just get in a funk when I start doing these. Anyways, we have a leftover set. Gonna replenish that health 1 16th each turn. The regular ability turret to maximize that uh, water type attacks that when we're down to 130 HP. Then we have the move Aqua Tail. Already explained that one I don't know how many times. The move Toxic, if you don't know what that does, it means you can poison the target in front of you. It does 1 16th HP the first turn, 2 16th HP the next turn, 3 HP, uh, 3 16th HP the next turn. So it stacks if you don't know. Now we do have Skull Bash, which I explained. You tuck your head, raise your defense stat, and then you hit with a whopping 130 base attack stat, which is just insane, guys. And then we have Iron Defense, which allows you to go plus 2 in your physical defense stat really really cool this allows you that when you're dealing with a totem pokemon that you don't have super effective pokemon to deal with it uh you can always send in this set go iron defense take its hit toxic it go skull bash and just whittle it down little by little this is a neat set if you're looking for an impish pokemon to put on your team this is one that i would definitely consider all right guys that's gonna do it for me those are all the sets that i came up with using my squirtle if you have any better in mind definitely leave them in the comments below or you can always follow me on twitter uh my twitter is in the description below you can tweet me at them hey you never know if you tweet me some good ones i might just use them one day and uh give you a little shout out there anyways guys thank you so much for watching this video if you haven't checked out the pokemon master challenge i highly suggest you do it's in the description below as well i will see you guys in the next video peace Yep.